Hello, my name is June. The Bible tells us that 2,000 years ago, when the angels came from heaven one night to this earth and visited some shepherds who were looking after their sheep in the fields outside the town of Bethlehem, and the angels announced to the shepherds that a baby, the savior of the world, had been born that night. And the angels said, we've come to tell you good news of great joy. So Christmas is all about great joy. My husband David and I were missionaries in the Philippines for many years. Now in the capital city of Manila, there's great wealth in certain areas. But there are also vast areas of squatter communities where people live in makeshift houses made by themselves, in abject poverty and great need. One time I was invited by a group of Christians to visit a squatter area near an area called Tondo in Manila, which is a huge um, rubbish dump. And there, the squatters living around the rubbish dump, they scavenge every day for food or for items to sell so that they can somehow keep alive. It's a very, very needy area. But here was this great group of, of Christians who'd come to put their trust in the Savior Jesus, and they had great joy. And we were sitting in a circle, and then this old granny stood up. She didn't have a tooth in her head. She was dressed in a ragged dress. And she sang to us. And she sang, I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. Wow. This lady certainly didn't have any silver or gold. And she didn't even have many Filipino peso. But she had found riches in Jesus. She'd got eternal riches because she'd put her trust in the Savior Jesus. Poverty and yet with riches in Jesus. She belonged to Jesus. God so loved the world that he sent his son to be the Savior of the world. This Christmas, we remember this fact, how Jesus was born as a baby in Bethlehem. We remember how he lived a life of healing people, teaching, and sharing love and compassion, and then fulfilling the purpose of his mission. He allowed himself to be put to death by wicked men, by being nailed to a cross. But Jesus willingly died on that cross for us, to save us. He died for us. He took the punishment for sin that each one of us deserves. And so that by believing in Jesus, we can have our sins forgiven and we can have great joy. Only through Jesus can we be saved. We can't save ourselves. We can't blot out our sins by ourselves. But Jesus is able to save us completely and give us a new relationship with God, our creator, so that we come to know God as our father. When we ask Jesus to save us, our sins are gone, they're forgiven, because Jesus took them on the cross. We become a child of God, and we have eternal life, life with Christ forever. We're saved for eternity. And so like this old lady in Manila, we have great joy because we belong to Jesus, because we belong to God. And we can sing with her, I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. And so this Christmas, I wondered, do you have this great joy that comes from knowing you're saved by Jesus? If not, I invite you, as Jesus invites you himself in the Bible, come to me, come to Jesus. How do you come to Jesus? Well, there's three words you have to say. I'm sorry. I've not thought about you. I've not believed in you. I'm sorry for my sins. Thank you, Jesus, that you died on that cross for me. Please be my savior. And if you come to Jesus, you will experience great joy. God bless you all. Thank you for listening.